Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Welcome to this week's virtual story time with me, Miss Kayla. This week's theme, oh, you can't tell by my felt board, but this week's theme is all about getting sick and feeling better. So yes, it happens to the best of us, unfortunately. Sometimes we just don't feel so good. So this week's theme is all about that, getting sick, getting hurt, but then feeling better afterwards as well. So I have three great books today. I couldn't choose just two, so I'm going to get right into it. And my first book is Llama Llama Home with Mama. And this is by Anna Dudney. And it is published by Viking. So, Llama Llama, morning light, feeling yucky, just not right. Down to breakfast, tiny sneeze, sniffle snuffle, tissues please. Llama's head is feeling hot. Llama's throat is hurting lots. Achy fever, stuffy head, Llama Llama back to bed. Time to rest, no school today. Mama Llama brings a tray. Fruity medicine tastes yucky. Llama Llama's throat feels gucky. Look around, not much to do. Trucks are boring, tractors too. Make a tunnel for a train? Llama Llama fuzzy brain. Mama Llama gets a book, have a listen, take a look. Heavy eyelids, drippy nose, Llama Llama starts to doze. Up again and feeling better. Draw some pictures, make some letters. Llama wants a sandwich, please. Mama Llama starts to sneeze. Lunch is over, time for toys. Mama's head does not like noise. Mama makes a big achoo. Llama's out of things to do. Uh-oh, Mama's throat is sore. Being sick is such a bore. Mama coughs and Llama yawns. How long can this day go on? Mama snortles, hacks and wheezes. Llama Llama's sick of sneezes. Soggy tissues, gobs of guck. Sniffing, snorting, sneezing, yuck. Llama Llama, red pajama, sick and bored at home with mama. Wait, Llama Llama knows what's best. Mama Llama needs a rest. Get more tissues, bring a cup. Fluff a comfy pillow up. What else could Mama Llama need? How about some books to read? Just the thing for Llama Llama, sick at home. But with his mama. The end. So my felt board this week is all about Teddy. And this is Teddy 
and Teddy is sick. So, Teddy will go to the doctors. And the first thing they're gonna do is use an otoscope, which is this thing, to look at his eyes and look in his ears. After that, they're going to use a thermometer to take his temperature. Oh, Teddy has a fever. So we're going to give Teddy some medicine. And as Llama Llama said, it tastes like yucky fruits. Then, this is a stethoscope. And that, you listen to your heart. So we're going to listen to Teddy's heart and it sounds just right. Ta-tum, ta-tum, ta-tum. And lastly, you'll have a bandage just in case he were to get a cut somewhere. And these are all the things that Teddy needs when he's feeling sick, but then he'll feel, soon feel better. My next book, it's a bit on the smaller side, but I really like the story. And it's called Boohoo Bird. And this is by Jeremy Tankard and it's published by Scholastic. So, Bird and Raccoon were enjoying a game of catch when Bird got bonked on the head. Ouch! Moaned Bird. That hurt a lot. He started to cry. Oh no, said Raccoon. I've wounded Bird. Here, I'll kiss it better. Raccoon kissed Bird's bonk. Bird kept crying. It still hurts. I'm sorry, said Raccoon. Let's see if Rabbit can help. Raccoon told Rabbit what happened. Poor Bird, said Rabbit. Would a hug help? Rabbit gave Bird a hug. Bird cried some more. It's not helping. Let's go find Beaver, said Rabbit. He'll know what to do. What you need is a cookie, said Beaver. You can fix any problem with a cookie. Beaver gave Bird a cookie. Bird cried louder. I think I'm getting dizzy. Let's ask Sheep what to do, said Beaver. She's full of ideas. Beaver showed Bird Boo Boo to Sheep. How about a game of hide and seek? Suggested Sheep. The animals ran and hid. You want me to hide? Wailed Bird. I can hardly walk. Surely Fox can make you feel better, said Sheep. He's clever. Bird got bonked on the head, Sheep told Fox. He's quite upset. What you need is a Band-Aid, said Fox. He disappeared into the den and came back. Band-Aids always make my boo-boos feel better. Fox put a band-aid on Bird's head. The band-aid isn't working! Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo, cried Bird. Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo, cried Bird's friends together. Nothing is making Bird feel better! Bird looked at his friends. He, let, he felt his bonk. It didn't really hurt anymore. I think I'm okay now, he said. But his friends couldn't hear him. A 
I said I'm all better now, shouted Bird. See? Bird stood on his head. You're so silly, Bird, said the animals. They laughed and stood on their heads too. Come on, said Bird. Let's play catch. Bonk. The end. So now this is a little, I guess, poem about feeling sick. Or it's, I've got a cold. So, I've got a cold. My nose can't smell. My eyes are red. I don't feel well. So I'll drink my juice and go to bed until my nose feels better and so does my head. The end. So our craft this week, I only have one because only one of my children wanted to participate. I was supposed to do an English one and a French one. But I only have an English one. It's a card. So, um, yeah. With band-aids. So we have a little heart with a band-aid and then we just used our fingers with stamps to make the balloons and then little band-aid people. So we don't know who to give it to and hopefully we don't have to give it to anybody but we make little cards. Finally my last one is Bear Feels Sick by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. And this one is published by Margaret E. McElderly Books. Alone in his cave at the autumn, as the autumn wind blows, Bear feels achy with a stuffed up nose. He tosses and he turns, all huddled in a heap. Bear feels tired, but he just can't sleep. He sniffs and he sneezes, he whiffs and he wheezes, and the bear feels sick. His friends gather round, come on bear, and play. Bear shakes his head, I'm too sick today. Mouse mutters, oh my, bear's head is too hot. Hare says, we will help. Here's a warm, cozy spot. Bear mumbles and he moans, he grumbles and he groans, and the bear feels sick. Mouse squeezes bear tight, he whispers in his ears, it'll be just fine. Your friends are all here. Badger fetches water, Gopher cooks the broth, while Mole soothes Bear with a cool, wet cloth. They cover Bear up and he drinks from a cup, but he still feels sick. Raven says, Caw! Come along, Owl and Wren. Let's go gather herbs to bring back to the den. They coax Bear to sip just a smidgen of tea. You'll feel better soon, says Mouse. Wait and see. Bear shakes and he shivers, he coughs and he quivers, and he still feels sick. The friends fuss and fret, the friends cook and care. They keep a close eye on their poor sick bear. They all talk in whispers, they walk on tippy toes, they sing lullabies, then the bear starts to doze.
They watched Bear for hours. We've done all we could do. Then the bear wakes up. And the bear feels good. Bear cries, I'm all better. I'm feeling like new. I'm not hot and achy. It's all thanks to you. Let's celebrate now. Let's go out and play. Let's jump in the leaves. Let's frolic all day. Then mouse starts to wheeze and hair starts to sneeze and the friends feel sick. Bear murmurs, don't worry, and tucks them in bed. He bundles them up and he kisses each head. He tells all his friends, you'll soon feel like new. You take care of me, now I'll take care of you. The end. So that is it for this week's story time. I will see you next week with a brand new theme. Bye everybody!